When you have a mass wall of 12 inches thick, you don't get the radio frequency wave from like a 5G or a cellular antenna through that wall. It stops it at that wall. Now, it's not going to stop a bunch of power lines, and there's other ways to mitigate that. There's four types of EMFs. You have electrical field, and that's the 60 hertz cycle of how all of our power comes into our homes. We can't get away from that. That's what brings the electricity in. Yeah, and I think people don't realize how EMF, the dirty electricity, can emit from their walls into their bed while they're sleeping and they don't even, so, yeah, yes. like nine to 12 feet out from your wall. Yeah, well, it just depends. Typically, the field is about 24 inches. However, it can easily extend to nine feet. And here's how it can extend a metal bed frame. So metal is a conductor. We're 80% water or plus whatever. We become a conductor of this energy, right? And it's not that the energy is bad. It's just we conduct that. So if you have lamps plugged in with outlets, okay, so you have your Romex, your iron in the wall. You have a 24-inch kind of a space around that emits a field, but now it goes through the lamp, goes through the power cord goes into the body, goes through the bed, and now it's reaching out to that nine feet like you're talking about. 